Now this morning starting out 80 degrees in Salt Lake City, mid 50s in Park City, although most valleys you can see are in the 60s, a little bit warmer than that in St. George where it's 76. Now things quieted down overnight, but we still have some showers going in western Utah. There was a thunderstorm rolling through uh, Twila Valley over the last couple hours. It's made its way just south of Rush Valley heading down toward Vernon, but it's uh, breaking up a bit, even though some of that rain is moving over the mountains into Utah County. Now high pressure continues to dominate the weather pattern. It's centered off to the west of us, and as moves a little farther north today, there's going to be more of a northerly flow developing that allow dry air to come into northern Utah. But in the south, deep moisture is still in place and with the possibility of some heavy rain. Flash flooding, a big concern again today. In fact, it's probable at most of the national parks and recreation areas. So if you do have outdoor plans there, make sure you go to the ranger station, check things out, uh, see what the status is before you head out. Now in Salt Lake City, we're going to warm up to 99 this afternoon, still a little bit above average for this time of year. So almost as hot as it was yesterday. It'll be in the mid 80s in Park City, low 90s in Moab, upper 90s in St. George. Partly cloudy today, slight chance of thunderstorms in the north that might bring some gusty winds. Any rain would be most likely along and over the mountains and then possibility of some heavy precipitation out of the storms in eastern and southern Utah this afternoon and evening. And with moisture remaining in place in the south, more of the same all the way into the early part of next week. Partly cloudy, mid-90s in St. George with a very good chance of afternoon, evening showers and thunderstorms. A little less likely by the middle of next week. Temperature will stay in the mid to upper 90s most of the next several days. And in northern Utah, we're going to be drying out tomorrow. Sunny and hot. We'll hover near 100 this weekend. And then moisture makes its way back into northern Utah by early next week. And that'll bring a much better chance of some showers and thunderstorms, especially on Tuesday.